Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to film a new project pan video for you. I am going to go ahead and jump in on the 12 pans of Christmas that a lot of ladies here on YouTube are doing. I know I've seen Courtney K's. I know I have seen um, Jen from Glam Moms and I think that's all I've actually watched but I know there's a lot more ladies that are involved in that collab and I'm going to go ahead my husband interrupted me, so I apologize, but I am going to go ahead and jump in on this project, the 12 Pans of Christmas project. I don't really need to start panning any more products at all. I have so many products already that it's very hard for me to keep up with, but I had one product that I wanted to get finished by January of this coming year, and um, so I decided to jump in on this product project with one product out of 12. Um, so I went ahead and just picked out some other products that I feel like I could work on and finish by the end of the year and um, I will go ahead and get into those products. So the first product is the one that I mentioned. So the first product that I had mentioned that I wanted to pan this year is the Tarte Tarte Guard 30. This is the Broad Spectrum SPF 30. This is a mineral type sunscreen and I had bought this two years ago before we went on our annual summer beach vacation and I did use it when we were away at the beach last year and this year as well but I failed to use it um, most any other time of the year. So this is going to be expiring in January of 2017. So I wanted to make sure that I got as much progress on this as I possibly could. Um, I can't see my progress because this is a like a plastic sleeve and the bottle is pretty opaque. So um, I can look down in here but it's pretty dark so I can't really tell. But I really enjoy the scent of this and I just want to use as much of this as possible because this is not truly a moisturizer or a BB cream or anything like that. This is a sunscreen so as soon as this expires I don't feel comfortable using it. Um, there's I mean, I could use it, but there would be no benefit to it. Like, if I wasn't trying to go out in the sun and I was just using this as, um, a f like, my in place of a moisturizer underneath my primer, um, you know, if I'm not going out in the sun, it's not going to do me any harm. I'm not going to be expecting the SPF to work, but what is the point of putting it on my face at that point? So... I am going to try and use up as much as this of this as possible before the end of the year so I don't have to waste so much of this product but I really really do enjoy this product and um, I would enjoy getting samples of this and I, I might even repurchase this again but definitely need to make more of an effort to use it when I have it. This next product is actually probably a little bit odd but this is the Pure Instinct Sex Attractant Cologne. I believe this is my 17 by 2017 which is going horribly by the way. Um, and this is a um, something that I got at a passion party. And um, I really enjoy the scent of this. As weird as this is, I don't know if it attracts people of the opposite sex or people of the same sex for that matter um, nor do I need it to but I really enjoy the scent of this and I like to put this underneath um, my perfumes and I like to wear this at home and even just sometimes when I go out without perfume and um, I am right about here I finished I started the year here and then I'm right about here so um, I wanted to see if I could finish this this year the next product I have is an eyeshadow, and this was um, the Makeup Geek Beaches and Cream Shadow. Abby from Make Life Your Runway got this for me last year, and um, I hit Pam pretty early. This is a really soft shadow, and I use this as a transition and brow bone shade, so I think that I could finish this little bit up by the end of the year if I continue just using it that way. So I'm going to go ahead and try and finish that. And along with that, I have another shadow. This is the ColourPop shadow in Prickly Pear. And this was one of their limited edition shades that was in a, um, a, 
a group. It was in like six shades, like one of their collections. And um, I really, really enjoy this shade. But it's starting to really dry out and crumble every time I stick my finger in it. So I want to go ahead and try and finish this up, which shouldn't be too hard because I really enjoy wearing this shade. I like wearing it over top of like a purpley kind of taupe base. And what's really great for that is... Um, Amethyst by Laura Mercier, but I'm going to try and pair this up more with another product that is in this project. Actually, I will go ahead and show that to you now. This is the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in the shade Rose Gold, and this is the only remaining amount and I will go ahead and mark this at the end of this video on an index card so you can go ahead and see that in the progress for the next video. It won't roll down anymore. So anyways, that is my Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in Rose Gold and this is in my 2016 Makeup Use Up. So it's just one more product that I want to get out for that project. Another eyeshadow is in my Physicians Formula Quad here. I know you guys have seen a lot of these products already. Um, but this is this brown shade right here. And I think I can finish this up by the end of the year. It's a very small amount. Um, sorry, there's a little bit of wetness here. Um, this gray shade right here, I don't really have any interest in trying to pan at all. So I am going to just toss this entire quad as soon as I finish that brown shade. And the next product I have is another 2017, 2016 Makeup Use Up product. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. I have not used this at all this year and um, I wanted to get some use out of this. So I'm going to try and mix this in with my foundations from now until the end of the year and try and see how much progress I can get on this if not finish this. The next four products are going to be included as one and these are all primer samples. So I have um, the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, which everybody and their mother has tried and I have not, which is just crazy. And I have another one of these as well. This is the Professional by Benefit, and I want to try and finish that. This is the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector. I have finished one of these before, and um, I'm looking forward to finishing another one. This is the Pores No More by Dr. Brandt. I have finished a full size, uh, not a full size, another full sample of this as well and I'm looking forward to using this also. So those four will be considered one product. Another combination of products is a couple of foundation concealer samples. So this is the Makeup Forever HD Ultra HD Foundation and Ultra HD Concealer and there's two shades of each here. These are two foundation shades and two concealer shades and I think I'm only going to be able to use um, maybe these two. There's also a um, photo finish primer sample right here that I will use at a later date. This is the Tarte BB Empowered Hybrid Gel Foundation, and there's several shades here. These two are the only two I think I'm going to be able to use, maybe possibly this one, but I want to try and start getting some makeup samples out of my collection, so I'm going to work on these two as well as those primers. And the very last product that I have is this Bare Minerals Lash Domination Mascara. This is a mini mascara. Obviously, I have a full size of this, so I want to see if I like this. If I don't, I'm going to go ahead and give away the large size of the Lash Domination, but I've heard great things about this, and I just want to get another mini mascara out of my collection this year. So this is the Lash Domination, like I said. And so that is it. That is my 12 pans of Christmas. And I'm going to locate and link down below all the ladies that are doing this video. I am not officially in this collab, but I have decided to jump in and join. And there are several other ladies that are doing this project as well that I really, really am looking forward to checking out their channels because I don't think that I have um, seen their videos or their channels before. So I'm really excited about that. So um, please check them out. Look, um, you know, look for those link da links down below and go ahead and check them out. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.